Hey guys, thank you for watching my YouTube channel and I welcome you all once again. Um, if you like my videos as usual, please like and subscribe and the most important thing is to please comment so I know exactly what the feedback is and and I can post more videos based on what you guys would like to uh, see. So, um, the focus of today's video is to export Azure Sentinel data from Log Analytics Workspace to, to storage account and to use Azure Data Explorer to read that data. So basically, like you guys know, um, Log Analytics Workspace and Azure Sentinel data in Log Analytics Workspace ideally is free only for the first 90 days after which it's really expensive so companies would like to export data uh, to storage account where it is possibly one third the cost of what it is in the log analytics workspace and use adx um, or azure data explorer to read data from the storage account so the first step what we want is to actually create a storage account um, I already have a couple of videos, one video in particular which I will post in this channel where I explain on how to create a storage account. Ideally, you would like to, to create a storage account which has um, general purpose V2 so you can use a um, lifecycle management feature here to delete data after seven years companies always have a policy that they would want to delete files or data that's not utilized or modified in the last seven years they just want to delete it out of the system so you can use this lifecycle management feature if you have a general purpose v2 I will post a link to that video where I talk about storage accounts um, below. So the, the account that I am going to use is the account that I have created here. As you can see, this is the account. So my first step to do the export is to go into Log Analytics Workspace. Yep, so the Log Antics workspace that I am using is just one that I have created previously. Um, I'm going here, the option to export data from Log Antics workspace to the storage account is via the data export feature in the Log Antics workspace. You create a new export rule. I've already created it there, which is what I'm going to use. You can do it anything, you can just say Azure Storage. 1-1 one, one, because the name has been taken click on next ideally I would only want sentinel data I don't want anything else um, and I just select the whole lot click on next I don't want event hub I want to use storage account I have already pro, uh, created a video to copy to event hub, copy to Azure Data Explorer directly using event hub I will post that link as well <clears throat> go into subscription and I will use RG2, this one, which is the storage account that I have just mentioned below, above. Uh, however, to in the in the interest of time, I have actually already um, created the storage account, which storage account, and I've already done the export, which is which is what we are going to use. Okay, so I'm just going to go back, and that's the one here, Azure Storage Account. I'm using that one here. Okay, so the moment I do that, the next step what I do is I just go and delete, uh, go and sorry, generate some sample data. So I just want some data coming into Log Analytics Workspace, so it will automatically get uh, get exported into Azure Storage. This is being done in real time. So, uh, to do that, I just go here. I just go into my Log Analytics Workspace. And I've got a rule, um, sorry, not login workspace, but my Microsoft Defender for Cloud. I've, I just create, generate some sample alerts. I've got a rule which says the moment you generate some alerts here, please copy those alerts into Log Analytics Workspace and as incidents. So I just, all what I'm doing is just trying to generate some data. That's all. So the moment, so that's running, that's going to get exported. It will immediately talk to Azure Storage and it will, it should go into the storage account okay so now let's go and see that storage account okay if i go to containers everything's in containers 
there you go i have got these alerts here am m cash shadow copying if you see the dates ms activity um, ms office activity security alert well it's 11:55 at night so <laughs> that's why the dates have changed but this is pretty much uh, all data that you will see that was generated as part of that um, in, uh, trigger that I did just two minutes ago. Okay, cool. So those alerts will get updated into this um, into this field here. So now I would want. So now this is in my storage account. I would want to now use Azure Data Explorer to read the data. So let's take something which is a security incident. Okay, so I've got a security incident. All what you do is you, first things first, to read this, you need to have a key. You, to, to have a key, all what you do is you just need to modify the permissions first so it can write data as well if required. And just list, select here, change the date to 49 and you just generate a SAS URL. You would need this to add into the command that I'm just going to show you. So I will post these three very simple steps in the link so you can use it. The SAS URL that you saw there that I have generated, you just replace in your case, your own storage account, you generate that SAS URL that I just showed, you replace that with this in this command here. All what this does is, this is Azure Data Explorer. I have already got a video where I have shown how to create Azure Data Explorer, which I will post in the link below. Once you have created it, you will want to link your Azure Data Explorer that you want to read the storage account with. You will want to link the Data Explorer with your storage account. To, to do that, this is how you do it. You create an external table. I'm just going to create a table called Storage New. It doesn't matter. You can do whatever name. This is the data that I want. I want the description, status, time generated system alert from that incident that is there in the storage account and it's going to ask me where give me the location of that storage account and this is the sas url um, that i've just generated i'm just going to go and create this run beautiful it is now created that the next step is i want to this particular things that you see here, the description table, the columns, what I want to do is I want to map these columns with the schema from Azure Sentinel itself. So if I go, it's so already just create external table. I've got the same thing storage new, which is the name, one that I've just created and basically map the, the columns with the schema or the column description with the schema uh, that is in your your Azure Sentinel data. Don't worry, no stress. I will copy. I will paste this uh, all this um, instructions in the description as well, so you can just reuse it. Click on Run. There you go. That's what it is. So I have created that mapping. The final thing is I would want to view and see if I can now see those security incidents, the top 10 security incidents that's there. So I'm just going to go and basically run. Voila. It's here. So this, you see this description. So this description is the description names that we have created. Description status, time, there's nothing, there's no system alert IDs, that's why. And then we have mapped that to the respective schemas in uh, the Sentinel data, which is why you, you basically get all this information in a nice Tableau column. So um, to recap what we have done, we have basically gone and created a, a, a storage account we have storage account we we have basically shared access token we have changed the permissions into multiple items we have created we have generated a sas token 
we copy that SAS token into this link here, uh, into this command here. We have then all what this is, we have run three particular steps. One link is to create your, to link your Azure Data Explorer that you would have created prior. It's part of, it's there in my video that I'm going to list below. Um, you, you, you want to link this Azure Data Explorer with your storage account. Uh, so you just replace this access token with the token that you have. You then create a mapping, mapping AKA, these columns that you have created here to map with the columns um, that is there in your in the imported Azure Sentinel data. The third step is just to view the data. So tomorrow you've got a user if he wants to use or see the top 10 um, incidents uh, that is there in the storage account, he just needs to run this command. Hopefully this helps. Thank you so much, guys. Um, and as usual, please like and subscribe this channel. I will be posting more interesting videos. Thank you very much. Have a good one.